Austin. Hello, South by Southwest 3. We are proud to be here live from the Marriott in downtown Austin at the outer Austin city limits here, almost near Pflugerville, almost downtown. And we have a bunch of guests for you tonight, live convention coverage of South by Southwest 3. And my co-host tonight is Joe Nick Petoskey. And I think we are the world's most trusted convention news team. Don't you think so, Joe Nick? I think so, and we hope that you stay tuned for the next four nights, 7 o'clock every night. And just remember this, whatever happens, trust us, ladies and gentlemen. But I, where did you get this towel that you're wearing on your head? That's what I want to know. Well, I'm, I'm kind of uh, trying to pay tribute. I know we're get, we've got some hot political issues to discuss uh, in rock tonight, and uh, I'm trying to adapt to a little Middle Eastern theme. And uh, uh, it's, it's kind of my tribute to... Uh, South by Southwest 89, it's the exciting. International Festival. The International Festival of Music and Love, and we have to stress love in this festival. And we convention. brought three friends with us, Bill. Uh, Los Tres Diablos, they're going to be with us tonight, too. Hi, everybody. Hi, Los Tres Diablos. There are three mascots. It is South Hi. by Southwest number three. For the Southwest premier music venue, we're bringing musicians, music people from the industry together to mix, mingle, grope, bond, do whatever those industry people do. And our first guest tonight is the guy who is in charge of this whole place called Austin. Our rockin' mayor, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, <laughs> all right. Yeah. I want to know why I don't have a coat like that. And they didn't furnish me with a hat to cover up my bald head. I don't understand this. Uh, a little bit of practice, mayor. We'll I'm going to have to talk to my staff. You need an image shaper. You really need a turban, I think. I Mr. tell mayor. you, They'll Jesus, to you. whiz, They'll I come in you. here and you didn't even. I had to come through the bedroom. I thought this was going to be. I thought this was going to be filmed in the bedroom in there. That's but tomorrow that's, night. That's Mayor, tomorrow night. You're invited yeah, back again yeah. for that. Uh, one. Why don't I get to come to all the fun things? <laughs> well, Mary, we like to put on a little show here for the people in town. <laughs> We're glad that uh, he's taken time out from Channel Six, uh, which is where you can watch the City Council, and uh, the mayor is uh, probably the featured. Star of a, a Thursday night activity. Well, this on is Channel cable. 6. This is cable hopping night for me. I'm cable gonna see if I can go night. get on ten right after I leave here and maybe slip over to one more station before the night. Right. Over. Yeah. HBO. Just get in on it. I say. So, Mayor, it. what do you make of South by Southwest '89? It's been going on for two years. This year seems to be uh, the the blockbuster year, as it were. I think it's fantastic. It's well overdue. The city of Austin. I think, uh, as I say, when I go all around the country and even in Austin too, that we've got more live music going on on Wednesday night in Austin, Texas than they have in Nashville on Friday and Saturday night. All right, let's hear it for live music. Yeah, All now, right. I, I don't want to say sour grapes to other channels that are, that are looking into these problems that why is in Austin, Nashville, but quite frankly, uh, if you want to wear bolo ties and, uh, and uh, wear the latest from North Beach leather, go to Nashville. Uh, we're in Austin, we're proud of it. And, uh, we can I wear turbans. <laughs> yes, uh, I mean you can't wear turtles. And in uh, funny looking coats, funny you know, and coats. having a good time. And bugs, you know. And, I'm and, and where the real creative talent is. Yeah. That's, uh, uh, we know, got the raw talent. I think that's why people come here. Yeah. That's right. And that's they, true. You know, they say well, there's over 900 bands uh, just working day to day in Austin, Texas. South by Southwest, I know that a number of years ago we talked about how do we really bring focus and bring the business aspect to uh, along with the music aspect and I think that's what South by Southwest is doing seeing MTV in here and seeing a lot of musicians from all over the country but also seeing over 300 Austin uh, groups that's true. really getting a chance to put their talents out there is a way for them to I think rise to the top and hopefully get recording contracts Bring in Bucks to Austin, Texas. We all want yeah, to be millionaires here in Austin. Let's we hear don't it for be Bucks in Austin. Yeah, <laughs> all right, yeah money know. in Austin. All right, let's hear it. That's pretty good. Well, Mayor, I, I'm, I'm really interested. Uh, uh, tonight uh, it kicks off South by Southwest. We have the awards ceremony over at the uh, Austin Opry I think, I think Opry uh, House. Council Member Max Knopfser is going to be playing a part in that tonight. Excellent, excellent. Big well, fan of the music scene in the city. I thought you were going to be playing tonight. I thought, uh, you know, the Lee Atwater thing, you're not into it? Lee Atwater too, you know. you. <laughs> okay, I mean, I've been in office nine months. I'm going to start really laying out my latent talents. Oh, okay? good. Well, all right. well, make sure you clean up afterwards. Okay, <laughs> lay them all out. I hate to put you on the spot, but... Here Mary, it comes, you, here it comes. What are your picks to click of this convention? Oh, no, 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 no way. They're all great. All right. There you're, we you're, go. You're gonna ask. It's love. We're it's a love, love fest. Right. It's a love Absolutely. fest. We Absolutely. love everybody. You That's bet. good. Well, well who are some of the bands? I mean, there, there are how many? 600 bands? 9 million bands? Uh, at least. Uh, I think it was actually more like 45,000. They had to cut it down from 90,000 last year. Yeah. And that's to allow everybody to get a little uh, piece of the action and uh, get and the sample. And clubs, the there's best a $10 ticket that people can buy and go to clubs all over town. 
That's, uh, for th four days? That is real interesting that, that over the United States, I don't think anywhere you can get an entertainment bargain like $10 for all this music. I mean, you can go to New Orleans, you can go to Nashville, Los Angeles, New York. Uh, New York, that won't even buy you half a beer. Mm -hmm. Here I'm it buys sure you, it'll get you there in the taxi. <laughs> Here it buys you uh, four nights of uh, pretty good action, I think. And Incredible. Well, I mean, all kinds of music, all kinds of bands, showcases, the whole thing. Well, time. I think folks watching 33, if, if, you know, I think South by Southwest has been really gaining momentum, and there is a tremendous wealth of talent in this city these four days, and, and I hope that this show will get people, those couch potatoes, off the couches, yeah. and out there, and uh, you know, pick up your paper today and, and see what's going on because there is just talent all over the city in every club and it's very diverse. Crawling up the walls and the gutters, I mean, just talent. You can't even walk out your door, there's so much talent around. It's amazing. Ten bucks, it's so cheap too, for three nights, three full nights of club hopping. Well, I'm I want, uh, you know, we talked about, you know, what should really happen. You know, we've, uh, we've become a a government town, a university town, and I'm trying to look back over 30 or 40 years in a high-tech town. In the 90s, we're going to become a music town. All a right. rock and roll town. All, All right. right. All right. Well, Mayor, we know you've got a gig later on. You've got to go uh, tune up and do your sound check <laughs> right. pretty soon. Back, back to the council chamber. <laughs> but well, before I, you go. We have, well, I have a presentation to make the mayor. You know, Austin has been a music town for quite a while, and I want to present you with this lovely record, First Federal Savings of Austin. Walk Down Broadway with Jerome Kern. All right. And uh, A.B. Shirley there, and it's Hill Bowen and his orchestra and chorus, and I'm sure you'll, this is swinging music. I'm it's telling wild. you, I'm telling you, big time, right. Yeah. <laughs> you'll, you'll enjoy that. <laughs> I'll go put it on right next to Elvis, okay? All right. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Mayor. Good to be uh, with y'all. Good luck on this show, and good to be with y'all. Well, thank you. And, Thanks uh, for dropping by. Just remember, by. don't forget that the best music in the country is in Austin, Texas. All right. Yeah, I say yay to that. Here. Let's hear it. Okay, we, we got, got it. We got Mr. Doug Som on now. Come on in. Go, come on in. Wake him up. Wake him up. Good to see you. Now, before Doug, uh, uh, before have we sit seat. down and have start talking, uh, I, I think that... Have a seat right here. In order to acquaint yourself mm -hmm. with, uh, right with America's uh, uh, youth out there, I thought we'd, uh, we'd show a little video of uh, a, a oh. tune you did not too long ago okay. called On the Border. What are we looking at here or there? Uh, we're looking oh, okay. everywhere. This okay. is a love feast here. Okay. And we're glad to have you here. Good to be here, man. Uh, that's good. Well, it's going to be a good. Should we, should we use the new format for this video, for rolling this video? What do you think? Yeah, well, uh, we've, you've heard we've of VHS, beta. Well, and this, this is our brand new, new video is out on a new format here. It's an edible it, format. It's not new, though, man. It's been lost for six years. Well, this sandwich has been lost, too, but this is actually a video sandwich. It's okay. an edible format. You can. Take a bite of it, then you can put it in your VCR, and this is why you got to get a hold of this video. And you just play it, and you just roll it, and then it rolls a video. Well, sometimes it rolls.
because uh, that's the first time I've ever seen a Corvair leading a chase scene uh, before. I mean, usually there's Magic of television, Joe Dick, you know, with Augie Myers behind the wheel, brother. Hey, this is old home week for any, anybody that's into uh, the, the history of Texas music or the, the past, present, and future. Uh, we got two of the heavy cats of uh, Texas music right with me here. The, uh, Doug Somm, who we introduced on my ride here. And uh, over sitting next to Bill is, is the cat daddy of producers and... Uh, and not only this neck of the woods, but just about every neck of the woods. And that's Mr. Huey P. Moe. We're glad to have you back this glad year. Glad to be here, brother. Well, it's always good. Thank always you. good. I tell you what, boy, these, and the crowds keep coming, don't they? It keeps getting bigger and bigger. Yeah, there are a lot of people here this year. Yeah, yes, you know, yeah. once I got to Austin, I tried to shut the gate behind me. These cats keep coming behind. I mean, you know, <laughs> I can't keep them out. It's, it's, it's kind of a heavy thing. I don't know what to do about it. Don't, don't stop the music, boy. Just let it go. <laughs> well, you know, it, for all you out there that uh, uh, might not might not be familiar with Huey and Doug. Uh, back in, uh, I believe it was 1964, these two guys hooked up together and uh, probably broke the first Texas rock and roll hit, and a little song called She's About a Mover with the Sir Douglas Quintet. Doug did it. Huey, Huey did it, too. I mean, as, as a producer and <laughs> promoter been, and all we that. We've just been moving since, man. <laughs> <laughs> and Doug's, and stuff. <laughs> Doug's got a killer album out right now on the Antones label, which is really, Doug, I think it's the best thing you've done in, in 20 years. I mean, it knocks my socks off. I'm yeah, really happy. Yeah, I had I'm trouble keeping my you socks on. You went Doug up on a model favorite song, Your Mind Tonight. Yeah. He, he, I bet you're going to see that as a Joshua single. Too. Huey don't know that yet, but they, he's got that single. They, uh, San Antonio on the west side, boys. I hope, I hope it does it, man. That, my little boy needs a royalty. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, I got a three kids that hey, can I spend it too, man. Hey, give me that money, money over here. Oh, yeah, yeah, hey, give, give me a little taste of that. All right. Joe Nick We're scores done, again, so. folks. You yeah, see yeah, that? Yeah, this is how it's and This Austin, Texas. Right. See what the music business can do for you? Now, I've always It'll be wondered. floating in cash here, you know? Huey, I've always wondered, how do you get a record played? You got some cat like Doug. You got a good tune. You know it's good. But these cats on the radio sometimes, you know, they're going, oh, man, I don't know. What's the secret? Well, you got to tell the guys on the radio, see, they're not producers, man. Yes. You know, they wish they would. A lot of people do, but uh, you got to go out and make some noise out in them bushes and the grassroots and prove it to them that you got a hit. Mm -hmm. That's what he's doing right now. I've, right. I've got calls in the last 30 days, people all over want to know about Doug's record. In Connecticut and everywhere else. Stephen Lee's country up there. <laughs> one of and throws them there. What do you think about it? I said, I think you did a good job. All right, right. Job, good it? deal. I don't know how it plays the rest of the country, but it's a, it's a natural born smash for oh, yeah, all us folks down here that well, ever did did belly rubbers and, and triplets dance that kind well, of stuff got, way back when. You got a when. problem, you know. Uh, I was talking to Stephen while ago. Music, ever so many years, gets way gets completely washed out. You get right. don't want to yeah. listen to no You're stuff. right. You're You're right. Black, white, and different. And that time comes ever so many cycles, man. And it's True. there again. Like, I'm just not started going back in the studio experiment because I know it's time to come off with a left field hit or something because mm -hmm. uh, I don't Things know, are kind of quiet on the waters. Yeah. They're kind of dead. Well, you know I what it's like? Radio. I listen to my CD and hear the black truck drivers, white truck drivers fights. <laughs> <laughs> you, you know what it's like? You know what it's like? It's like after rock and roll in the late 50s when the Bobby V thing took over and all the bandstand and it quietened down, like he said, until the Beatles came along and knocked them silly. When mm -hmm. that, you, you know what I mean? That low, that rock and roll thing, huge, yeah. a low, and then the Beatle yeah. thing, which was actually a revamp of black music and rock and roll, mm -hmm. done by four cats with a great manager, looked great and sang great. And, it's got to the know, point where you turn the radio TV on and say, who's that? The next guy said, I don't know, who's that? Who's, who's that? that? Who's that? You're not supposed to be there. When you got yeah. an act, you're supposed to know who that is. If yeah. You start you have to guess who he is and means he sound like everybody. That's yeah, right. That's like, the point. That happened right, for me right, in, in the mid-60s right. when things were kind of lulled, and then yeah. a, along came Henry Mancini. <laughs> and wow. I, bet they didn't have to tell you know, I bet they didn't have to tell you the other morning. They said, I feel good. Yeah, that was <laughs> wow. it. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's right. You know, yeah. dig this, because yeah. see, in the old days when we were having to think about it with the Sir Douglas Quintet thing, you know, and you had Credence in the late 60s, you had Love and Spoonful, had Birds. Everybody had a defined, unique sound. Right. And it seemed like after a while, that a and and some of the record guys can only hear you if you sounded like, does it sound like Bruce? Does it sound like Tina? Which I don't sound like either one. Bruce being a friend of mine, but I don't sound like him. You don't uh, have to apologize but, for that. But anyway, you know, I think it had a lot to do with it because I think of some of the old shows when we were making records out in California and doing things. There were some unique sounds going on. Spoonful and Birds and Us and Sam the Shield. You know, you know, you know it's totally I, unique. Well, what I think is just me, Bill. I don't want to scare you. But I feel yeah. like uh, uh, we don't have as many a variety of singers as we did in the last few years. You got a lot of guys sound like everybody else, you know, but 
somebody like the old PKs or you take yeah. Mississippi State door late on the stub, James Brown, Ray Charles, the, the identification, Bruce Springsteen, man, the identification, when they come on the radio, you know who these guys are. Do you and think nowadays, it, man, you have hell making out of what record from record to record. Right. Even the same group right. comes out with a new album. And you go, and unless you hear it a thousand times, you're going to wonder who that is. Do you think it's overproduction? Do you think these are produced too much? Do you think people no, got to get down to basic singing? I think what's happening singing? is that the writers are, uh, are just writing off of other people's songs. They're, yeah. they're, not, they're not coming up with enough originality. And the guy that holds the seat is afraid to make the decision to take yeah. something that is original yeah. right. and take a chance on betting something that is original. He's afraid. He'd rather yeah. have a, a copy because he knows he's going to make a few bucks for the company and that's going to hold his chair. Yeah. I think he's scared to uh, to go out there and find something that's Well, wild, you, know, man. you know, I was going to say that's great because that's what's going on right now, this record. You know, we went with top ten in sales here in Austin this week. And I gotta give a vote to Clifford Antone. I mean, here's a guy that sticks to his oh, guns. Yeah. No kidding. And the song that the FM's Kiss FM was the first San Antonio to play it, A O R and uh, K L B J this week's picking it up, was a 30 year old Bobby Blue Bland tune called I Don't Believe. That I, you know, we almost didn't put on the record. And you know, when you're not on a major, you don't have to do. You know, you can kind of be a little more loose about it. So when we put it out there, we took it to Tom Shepke down there and Jody Denberg got it to the guys here. Listen to it and and, and you know see what you think, because. You know, now, so many guys say, you got to like this. Well, maybe yeah. you got to let people make a decision sometimes and, and, you know, have confidence in what they're hearing, you know. That's well, why I like you. The, you were, yeah. You're getting back with an old sound. That, yeah. I mean, it's been around, and, you know, yeah. kids are thinking, this is brand new. Yeah. You're playing with, Le they're playing the 30-year-old song with exactly. Led Zeppelin. With next to Led Zeppelin and Bad Company. I mean, I can't believe that. It you know, blows my mind. I was, I was over in the Texas, Barker, Texas History Center looking through an old Texas magazine, and I saw a picture of you as a real little boy playing the pedal steel, steel guitar, steel right. guitar uh -huh. and uh, with a country band. You had a whole hat on. It was up in yeah. Fort Worth or someplace. Well, it was uh, when I was, oh, man, I must have been 11 or 12 or something, you know. I'll tell you a great story from that era. It's great with Huey here. Um, when I was 11 or 12, I did country. When I used to go, I started bugging Huey in the late 50s to do me a record. He was already hot with Jive and Gene and, oh, you know, all them things were happening. So I went down to his barber shop in Winnie, Texas. Uh, people love this term, it's true. I went down there and you know, and I'm laid back now compared to how sped up I was in them days in a match. Like, <laughs> you know, old kills will lay you back pretty good, right? But not at tacos in San Antonio. So anyway, so I'd go down to Huey and he'd, he'd say, listen, brother, this is what you gotta do. So when he'd give you a record to listen to, he had a little 45 box sitting there where he was cutting hair in Winnie, Texas. The so when he would give you the record, he would take it off and dust the hair off the grooves of the 45 and then hand you the record. It meant it had a lot of soul. It gave a lot of soul, and it's very all in the groove. We, you know, you, the, the coup that you guys pulled off was taking a basic Tex-Mex yeah, kind of rhythm right. and selling it as British. Yeah, it did Cashing work. in on this British invasion thing back genius. with the Beatles. It was great. It worked. So, I, I mean, it's what, still working. Doug and I are still eating very well. <laughs> So did you have a hard time telling the world, you know, I mean, you know, getting these guys dressed up and uh, as no, English man? No, D Doug and I on, on that thing hit it off, and it, it was one thing that, you know, even Augie and everybody just became yeah, as correct. one and, yeah. and went on with it. Now, what about these guys' accent, though? They didn't sound British They sounded the British until uh, after they was on the airline. Pep, man. <laughs> Charlie, nice day. Uh, when, when, except when Johnny <laughs> Perry started talking Spanish. Yeah. And you had three guys out of the five were Spanish, and he sold us as English. Yeah. Now that's a credit to the master showman over there. I mean, you think Brilliant. you think Brian Epstein yeah. at least he knew he was selling British cats, right? You know, oh, and that's Andrew marketing, Long man. I wish that's I had. I, I wish I still had the, the a photo of uh, Trina Lopez's face when he seen us walk in for what yeah, was yeah. it? How yeah. was it? Yeah, yeah, something Hullabaloo. in New York. Yeah, he knew true. Doug. He knew me. And uh, what's the girl from El Paso? Uh, the blonde that wrote with pen in hand, what's it? Oh man, I can't. She was a peasant. Everybody from from Texas and so that he knew who it was. So you got to let me tell the world about it. <laughs> <laughs> I was running up the charts. I knew they couldn't stop us. So uh, so yeah, we already had a foothold because he held us back for a long time. But we knew Doug kept right. calling me. Uh, is, is, is we kept ready to go. Him. Ready to go now. Now. <laughs> uh, we were playing the Blue Note Lounge in San Antonio. Never forget it. You know, uh, playing away four nights a week, just grooving and playing real good. And uh, and then uh, what's his name? The guy did Jay Frank Wilson. Mm -hmm. Last came, kiss. Last kiss. He came in. He said, "Man, what are you doing here?" So I just came from <laughs> Miami and Atlanta, and your record is number one from Miami to Houston, and you guys are playing here in this hole for 200 people. And we were, well, I don't know. We just wait for Huey to call. Whatever. We just go do whatever. You know, whatever you say. I, I'll never forget, man. I got the, the guy in Houston. You know, every, it, Doug's record was big and up in the charts all over the country. And the guy in Houston, my own hometown, wouldn't play the record. 
And so when I got up top 10, he called me up, say, hey, brother, he says, he said, I'm going to play your record for you. So if you do, I'm going to come down and whip your ass. I'm going to tell you like it is. Don't play my record. <laughs> Don't do me no favors. That's true. That's, no, I said, I think you're going to come out your door tonight. I'll be standing there. Oh, I said, boy. after everybody else in the country is on it, you're going to tell me and do me a favor in my hometown. Hey, did you <laughs> when, 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 when And you, I met it, too. And he knew it. <laughs> when you got to this, this pop uh, uh, stardom all of a sudden, you ever get tired of all the women hitting up on you? <laughs> That no. must be a problem with well, all those women. I, 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 no. Yeah. You, it ain't like the 60s now with diseases and all these trips going on. So it ain't, it ain't like it used to be. But, you know, you got to have a good life. Just like a lot of people understand. It's really, man, I live a very quiet life out of here, you know. And, you know, you got to, when you get older, you know, to keep it going, you got to have some kind of variety. Like last night I was out playing ball with the Salt Creek boys. By the way, we were looking for you last night. I could have used you. Either that or get your little <laughs> eight-year-old son to raise like I got. He'll keep you busy, That's too. That's right. That <laughs> <Jordan Bay>. That's <laughs> true. you got to yeah. have alternatives <laughs> to rock and roll. Yeah. When he was talking about that show, I think about this. I saw Peter Noonan the other day, Sam the Shamp. None of these cats are around anymore. That's what I'm so proud about, to be 47 years old playing rock and roll, have one of the best records on him. I mean, man, the sky's the limit in that sense. But you, you can right. burn out. You know? 47 and I mean, still rock. Yeah you, yeah. You, yeah, you can burn out. It is very easy. Through all these problems, and I think a lot of these great guys that, you know, look what Stevie went through and a lot of guys, man, uh, it's it, it's some pitfalls. But, yeah. you know, I was lucky enough to have, uh, you know, a lot of spirit working for me and people behind me, and I'll it say. just feels yeah. good, man. To, you, you know, know Doug talking about man. Sam Shepard. I heard my little boy running up down the hall this week singing, Woody Booty, oh, yeah. Woody Booty. <laughs> I was Eight years old, I turned around and looked at him and said, what? <laughs> I was that's, that's what my dad used to call that. Sean, Bully Bully. I was listening to a whole lot of peace of mind the other day, and speaking of uh, getting through a lot of things, it <coughs> sounded like you guys had a lot of uh, experience with window pane back in uh, San Francisco in, in the late 60s. Oh, we don't talk about that. <laughs> hey, man, I'm from the old school, brother. You don't what? talk about that. Well, you're on the, <laughs> hey, you're on the flip side of the line. kids talk about somebody, all that. Right? Somebody <laughs> had to teach you younger guys what not to do, man. Yeah. <laughs> But I remember Huey had a few scary moments with us. Yeah, I mean, right. Oh, you got to wow. understand, we were hippies, man. Oh, wow. Speaking about window pane. You know, we were hippies, man. You know what I mean? Wow. Hey, are you having a flashback, Bill? Having... Oh, wow. <laughs> I remember... Oh, hey. wow. <coughs> 21 years ago today, man. Yeah. Wow, the Who was like unbelievable. They were busting up their instruments, man. I think we... I think I taped it, but I don't know where the tape is, man. Oh, man, but... close your eyes and maybe you can visualize. Can I visualize? Yeah. Look, look I tight. Look tight. You know, and here we are in the 80s, and it's like through the magic of television, all of a sudden Jim Gleason materializes right in front of us. Yeah, it's astounding, Jim Gleason. It's nice good to, to have you. Good Thanks. To be here, Bill. Thanks for inviting me. Jim of Austin Cablevision, and uh, we'd like to thank you for uh, allowing us to uh, yeah. wreak havoc for at least four nights well, on your channels. It's, you're wreaking good havoc <laughs> and uh, to 120,000 households. And yeah, right. it's, and keep I mean, showing Rocky Erickson videos, man. I love okay. it. Okay, <laughs> great, Erickson, man. great. Yeah. And it, it, and what's really don't great don't is to hear the stories behind music. And, I, and yeah. what you're doing is you're bringing uh, South by Southwest you know, everything that's going on here to the households through uh, television. Oral program. history. Oral history. Well, look, next to the Radar Channel and the Weather Channel, I mean, you can't ask for anything 33 better. 33 is right there next to the Radar. <laughs> that's yeah. right. Green Th block. 33 is here now, and that's one, that, that's kind of our motto of, of this convention, that we are here now. And this is kind of, uh, this is kind of a media first. I mean, I hate to brag on the crew and everything, but we're going live now over the cable system in Austin. This was set up specially for this broadcast and special programming in 33 for South by Southwest convention which is one of the big music events in the country and the cable company did a great job of wiring us all live so you can come on here and 
wear crab shirts and, and funny hats. I mean, it's Really, I'd, I'd like to thank you just for getting us uh, in these nice sofas up here in the Marriott uh, as opposed to, I mean, the Doherty was nice last year, but, <laughs> man, I had a bad back after those four uh, nights. Tomorrow will be the hole in the wall, right? <laughs> yeah. You know, it's been great to see the South by Southwest and your coverage grow every year. Really you know, we've we've really had a little part yeah. for the last several years, and it uh, it's great to see it grow. And, and like you were saying, there's so many people in the city and it uh, we're looking over our super. shoulders though. I know we've got competition. MTV is getting in on it this year. Uh, uh, all these, all the, all the <laughs> stations that the you action. can reach without cable are doing these specials. But that's why we, we really kind of promote ourselves as America's <laughs> most trusted convention coverage. Look at that camera. face. When right. you trust that face, America's yeah. most and trusted. We'd like to thank coverage. you for trusting us. And we have it every day and every Swain. night. <laughs> Every day and every night every day for four and days night. and nights. So yeah. much trust. You'll be sick of trust. You'll say, I wish there was somebody I didn't trust. We got so much trust coming out of the place. But, but uh, it's a pretty special setup we have yeah. here. Much what do you think about mingling with rock and roll legends like this? This is yeah. great. This is great. What do you think I about being called a legend? legend. <laughs> it's okay. I'll live with that title. It's not that bad. <laughs> they could call you worse things. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I've been called worse many a time. I've been called worse. We all have. <laughs> That's right. You know, that's the way it goes. You go back to the 60s, you're talking about this interesting thing. Uh, see, people don't realize that there's this whole flux of it. Austin, they had this thing here in Statesman here about, you know, two or three weeks ago about the hippies and all that. You know, what's the way we're going to know about it, but I'll bring everybody else up to date. And uh, there was a flux of people that were original hippies here. See, everybody was trying to go to California because in them old days, they had long hair and everything. I mean, you were putting your life in your hand. So, I mean, at that point, when you was cutting records with us, I mean, man, there are times we almost have to sneak into a town and sneak, sneak out. out. And for mm -hmm. nothing more than just looking a little weird. And there was sometimes they escorted you out. And sometimes they escorted <laughs> you out here in Louisiana. Remember that? And one time with Little Richard, they actually escorted us out of town. It was Little Richard, the Sir Douglas Quintet, and uh, J and the Americans. And there were so many weird people, and Little Richard and all of his dancers, they asked me to please leave. And I got a cop on one end, a policeman on the other, and they would escort you out of town. That's right. And we said, brother, if you get us out of here, we'll never come back. And I have not been to Lynchburg, Virginia since. Well, I'm sure they were more worried about Jay and the Americans. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, Jay was really real that, that Caramia was very yeah. subversive yeah. at the time, I think. Just terrors. Oh, what? Uh, the what? Well... I I can't. I wouldn't even spell that out for our television Well, you know, I, I have something, you know, I've been following Doug Soms' music for a long time, and I want to share with him another person who I know has influenced him greatly and, uh, for coming on the show tonight. We want to thank all of you guys for being on the show tonight. <coughs> this guy, I think, and I know that you'll think he influenced you too, Sammy Davis Jr. Oh, Here's an <laughs> album from Sammy. Is this mine? This is yours. Yeah, yeah, thanks safe, so coming, for coming on. Hey, this I'm glad he didn't here. give me one. <laughs> no. You, this, that? this is for you in case you need a, a little juice down at the radio station. Oh, man, get some of this. <laughs> How come it's got the same picture on both sides? <laughs> <laughs> and all we, have, all we have for the cable company is cheese puffs. That's all right. I'm hungry. Thanks. All right. Don't Thank you. <laughs> Take a bite of the last And now we've got a video from the Beat Nigs, and it's called Television, which is what we're all about. So we'll see you right back. Live coverage, South by Southwest number three. Thank you, everybody. One Nation. And the God has turned into one nation under the influence of one drug. And one man who is the master of that medium, the president of the U.S. of A. C. Television, drug in the nation, free to get free to be in the nation.
TV. The stomping ground for political candidates. Where bears in the woods are chased by fish and formal and bald eagles. Where all you need to do to get elected is to make monkey movies. Just ask Clinton Ryan. Where states in your mouth are more important than the words that come out of it. On television, the drug in the nation, breeding ignorance, and feeding radiation. looking right now at my favorite t-shirt for sale at this convention. You can find it downstairs at the Marriott. This is the SXSWSUX. Now you're going to have to draw your own conclusion. Ooh. It's a two-sided t-shirt. Ten dollars gets you a memory to take home and show all the kids what you did on your vacation. Uh, and I really think this is the one that that's, uh, everybody was stepping up to and buying Ten dollars, it's a bargain. Figure you're gonna pay twenty dollars for an ACDC at the arena. You can uh, use arena. it as a night show. Hey, it says a nice bad word on the back too. Woo! Yeah, yeah it's it's not it. We can't the F spell word. It. We can't we spell can't it out for you kids. And we're not home. talking about fart either. That's right. Nah. And uh, y'all got any matches? Uh, we can get a fart. You know. I, oh, I got think. my love my lighter. No. Oh, the Mr. Mojo Nixon, with us today, tonight here live, right here, South right now. Number three, and Mr. Steve Leeds from Mr. MTV. And uh, you can tell by the hat where this man comes from. We've already been trying to work some favors with him. And it, no, no, you all see him during the convention. You talk to him because he can add your video. You know, with a yeah, little bit of. Uh, man. Uh, Steve, don't you owe me some money, man? <laughs> the last video I played, you said you was going, you know, only 50 bucks a play, man. No, 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 no. We thought you owed us. Yeah, oh, right. Oh, here. Here's some money. Yeah, it's it's here's a money, money festival money. here. Everybody this, loves this one This is another. for New Orleans, right? This is for New Orleans. New Orleans, right? Oh, okay. And Skittles owes me money too. <laughs> <laughs> now, Mr. Mr. Mojo, you're you're living the invocation tomorrow morning. Uh, yes, I wish you would have said the right Reverend Mojo. A Reverend Mojo. Because I'm going to speak Mojo. about Satan and record companies. <laughs> and how the two, how the two may fornicate together Hallelujah. with bells above us. Amen. 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 Yeah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Bells above us. Wow. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm going to speak about that. You know, Satan is not my co-pilot, but some people, some pusillanimous Animus purveyors of putrid puss. You know who I'm talking about. Big wigs. When you're hobnobbing with big wigs, you know you're with pusillanimous purveyors of putrid puss. I'm talking about the evil record company people out there. Amen. And I, and I'm going to talk about them. And don't forget, Mr. Rojo, that <laughs> Satan's got a two for one suit. <laughs> and come to This is Dean Peterson telling you it's a two for sale. Reverend Mojo gives the invocation. Yes. We're all in trouble. <laughs> yes, the invocation. Would you like a sniff? Ah, smells good. I've seen Tastes it. Tastes great. I've seen it. Reality. Oh, Less man. filling. Less filling. Tastes yeah. great. Well, the, uh, wait, now, wait, speaking of two-headed, me, uh, me and my partner Skid, we got a new album, and the first song is called Debbie Gibson is Pregnant with My Two-Headed Love Child. I like that one, Mr. Mojo. <laughs> it's That's a love song. Two-Headed Baby Love Child. Yeah, love yeah, and, and, is it a love song? Is it beautiful? It's What's beautiful. It? Me it? and Debbie made love for 14 hours one night. I mean, just every which way. Every yeah. which way, but off, man. And, um, and you know, now she's carrying the beast in her belly. And, um, you know, it, it, well, it, it's, well, it's big. Mojo, Mojo, next time you get together with uh, Debbie, why no. you, Wesson is the no, best stuff, Wesson. Mojo. Yeah, we had Crisco last time. Uh, ooh, man, this is low and poly and saturated. Oh, I felt my cholesterol count went up after that little session yeah, with Debbie. No yeah, no wonder. Well, I appreciate <laughs> it. I appreciate it. Yeah, keep that Wesson, you know. Gotta go with Ooh. branded foods. These nice, days. nice nozzle on there. Yeah, yeah. It's Ooh, good. Yes. 
<laughs> now, now, Reverend Mojo, are you still living down? Uh, Elvis is everywhere. I know. I know that it's kind of like. No, I'm living it up. I'm. I'm spending money. I'm going to bars. <laughs> <laughs> so, Elvis! so Elvis has been very good to you. Elvis has been very, very good to me. You know what? If good. Elvis is alive, he might come back and kick my butt. I mean, knock it off. <laughs> but I tell you, whose butt he's really gonna kick is that woman that was on Larry King and had that book. Is Elvis alive? Elvis gonna find her and pop her head like a big zit. Amen. He's gonna pop her head like a jelly donut and suck all the juice out Hallelujah. of it. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Wow, I can see that. <laughs> Yeah. What, Did what? You, you had a vision there? I had a vision of uh, jelly donuts. But <laughs> hey, don't get another flashback, man. We already played the Who. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, Steve, uh, uh, from an MTV perspective, what do you do with the Reverend Mojo Nixon? Uh, we've uh, going to play his new video. He just uh, gave a copy of it last week uh, about Elvis. And uh, sometimes we uh, capitalize on his talent and ask him to uh, co-host and help us out with special events like he did in New Orleans. Well, Steve, I was kind of wondering, you know, you guys live this fast loose lifestyle, you, you know, think? 24 hours you're cooking, right? Yep. How much Weston do you guys go through like in a couple <laughs> in a month or so? That's uh, a secret formula. Oh, yeah, you know, I, right I really don't use Wesson. I try to use Royal Crown pomade. You know, you heat it up just right, strain it through your bread and you're cooking then, man, you know. I, I, I better had, than shoe polish. Better than shoe polish. I, Hallelujah. I, 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 knew, I knew this guy with a big butt, man. Had a great big butt. Butt was so big, little butts was orbiting around it, you know. But he would make it, he could, he'd use, he would heat up a Royal Crown pomade. He'd rub it on his butt and it, it'd shrink, you know. Cowabunga. Cowabunga is a bunga. Oh. So how do you feel about palm oil? Oh, I feel good yeah, about I'm it. I'm into it. I'm yeah, into I got it. some in the room. You yeah, know? if it'll make my butt shrink, I'm into it. <laughs> Definitely. Well, do that, you know, that would be a thing you could sell. You know, a lot of women say, ooh, my butt's too big. You know, you could sell. If you could make some device, you know, it's like men need stuff for their hair, women need stuff to make the butt shrink. You know, you could make a lot of money off of that. <laughs> and if you could make the same stuff so that it made your hair grow and made your butt shrink. Oh, oh man. Oh, Whoa, We're this talking. has nothing to do with the music thing, does it? No! <laughs> <laughs> it's all music, it's all love. It's all love. It's all, it's all love. love. Oh, That's no. what it's a okay, love piece. what do you guys, why, okay, why are you in town? Why are you in town? Well, uh, love, I say, L-U-V, <laughs> um, uh, But you know, for you, this convention, like, hype the convention. You oh, know, hype the convention. Plug for the convention. Music, yeah. music, music. 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 <laughs> <laughs> music go. is very beautiful. Music has been very, very good to me. And give the gift of music. That's always been my attitude. That's is right. that I, I don't That's think right. we give the gift of music enough. And what enough. a bargain we have to give at yeah. the yeah. convention. For $10, $10. You bet your bottom dollar that $10. You can really you can go to all these clubs all over town. There are hundreds of bands playing. I mean, are you going to play? Yeah, me and Skid Row are playing. Uh, what? What? what is <laughs> Saturday night? They're letting him play? <laughs> is that really and Skid Row are playing Saturday night at... Um, Liberty Lunch, Liberty lunch yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. At Liberty Lunch, and we're playing last, so uh, drink early, pass out, and come to. We'll be playing then. And uh, take a cab uh, home. We're gonna be playing. <laughs> we're gonna be playing a, another new song of mine. I yeah. think I can say this on cable TV. Yeah, it's sure. called "She Put a Louisiana Lip Lock on My Love Fork Chop." Yeah. <laughs> now, only only people with dirty minds think bad things about that. People who like to watch, you know, like Jimmy Swaggart. He liked to watch, you know. Jimmy's going, "That's a nasty song. That's a nasty song." Like you know, to watch. Yeah, yeah, that's good. I, I'm, you know, yeah, participatory I like, sports. I yeah. love, geez, let me get this straight. Lip lock on the love pork chop. Louisiana lip lock. Louisiana lip lock on the love. Oh yeah, pork it's, chop. it's like a fuck song. I'm like, I'm like dance. I'm like, you know, she put a Louisiana lip lock on my love pork chop. And then I go. Where is your love pork chop? Well, I mean, so what is go, the love pork chop? Well, you have to use bill. your imagination. <laughs> no, wait, wait, I got one question. Don't for you. push the envelope. Does Carolina blue shoes on? Did Carolina play in the in the NCAA yet? Did they win yesterday? I don't know. Who Did knows? Did Carolina win yesterday in the NCAA? Who? Carolina. Carolina. North Carolina, Tar Heels. Well, Texas plays tomorrow night, and they're taking it. Texas, UT <laughs> yeah. number one. Put your money on it. We've got it on good information that Tom Penders and Gene Peterson are not the same people. <laughs> believe us, believe us. So now you guys are going to cover this event. It's become so big that it's, so become, big. it's become music news. Now, wait, you were here last year. Right. And what you went back and said, this is so groovy, you all better come down and uh, I said, do you know thing. what? If you don't come back, you're going to just have to bring Joe Nick up to New York. And they figured it was cheaper to come down here. <laughs> yeah. That's New what York? happened to your career, baby. <laughs> yeah, man. Hey, hey, take a beer, Joe Nick. Uh, you have to drink after that one. Well, I don't know. It's a little bit warm for Generic. you. Generic. Hey, I'll take it. <laughs> yeah, so here you go, buddy. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. So, well, uh, so why did you come back this year? I mean, you you saw what it was last year, and it was nothing but a, a love feast. Uh, no, you're there, back again. Yeah, there's, there's just generic. like lots and lots of good bands. Why I came back, Ed Ward picked up the phone and said, Steve, we're doing this video panel with all these uh, video experts. Would you come on down and help uh, make some sense out of it? So for those people who want to make some sense out of video. Now, right, a lot of the audience out here is tuning in because this is Video Fest 89. 
What is it that you're going to talk about on this video panel about video? With a video? Well, we got some people from some record companies. We got some programmers. Uh, we got some video directors. We're going to try to figure out if you want to make a video, why are you doing that? And then if you decide you want to go ahead and do it, what? It, and after, after uh, you've decided you want to do it, where can you get it played, what to do with it? In other words, everybody can make a video. Everybody's got a camcorder at home, but if you're going to spend the money... What, well, what's the most expensive think? video you, yeah. uh, you run right now? I mean, what you've got on the, on the playlist? I, I'd probably imagine uh, one of the, the excerpts from Michael Jackson's Moonwalker. So how much would one of those cost? I mean, I, I wouldn't be surprised a quarter of a million dollars for one of those excerpts from that video. A quarter million dollars for this? <laughs> You're kidding! Twenty-four ninety-five. And what's the cheapest <laughs> video on MTV right now? Probably, probably the least expensive video that uh, we're showing right now. Um, Oh. You're going to hell for that. Yeah, definitely. If Elvis doesn't get you, Michael will. <laughs> on the latter day Sunday. Yeah, like I'm afraid of Michael, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the, the video Tone Loaf did yeah. for Wild Thing, uh, mm -hmm. it was a couple hundred bucks, like three or four hundred bucks. Really? Uh, yeah. That's a very beautiful uh, idea that only in America can you spend two hundred dollars and then you're on MTV. That's and right. So, so what's the it? secret? It's, what's the secret to a video that will get well. played on MTV? Do you have belching? No, no belching, no belching. If, if I light Hue a fart, will that get me on? No, no. Dirty no, no. lyrics. No. Huey, uh, Huey was talking about Brian Epstein earlier, and I guess that's it. It's like a hit. Brian Epstein always used to say the next big thing is going to be a good song or a hit song. And I think if the song's in the grooves, that's really prime, and then the visuals come after it. Of course, you know, <laughs> Mojo There are here. exceptions. Yes, there the are exceptions. The soul master like myself. <laughs> Well, you know, like, like you say, you can't make a... a Although, this is a big buck video for you, this it one. It is a big yeah. buck video. Uh, hey, how much? Oh, come on. It's a big butt video for me. Yeah. Where's that cream? Where's that cream? Now, the butt now I want to know what the deal is with the phone company. I mean, MTV's going to play that video, that, and that's that, got phone in your closet that with that answer is, machine. It's in, in there, and it's 619-239-KING. Call what I want Elvis to call me. But, but and if Elvis can't call me, if any of you, in you video. call. It's in the video. It's a real number. Wait, do we have house? a phone? Do we have a phone? You I call want to call right his number. Now. Do we have it, a phone in here? Hey, it costs 50 cents to call service. out of this hotel. Oh, okay. You better not, Ryan. And anyway, a limited budget. I want Elvis to call me, or otherwise I want people who know where Elvis is to call me, or maybe people who know where a good barbecue place is or something to call me. Yeah, um, I saw Elvis wait, one step good A few steps away from Ben's Long Branch right here, and then, you know, right up the street on 11th. Oh, that's a good place. Now, can you leave a message on that machine? Oh, yeah. People Messages. So now what are you going to do with all those tapes? I, I got them. They're in a box right now, and some some drone somewhere is going to listen to all of them and edit them down into the, the best of the calls, and it'll be something you can buy on Late Night TV right after Zam Fear or something. Zam so, so Fear. Now Zam there's Fear. Music. Why is it Zam Fear? Money-making proposition. Money-making proposition. Now what, what's that number again? Yeah. 619-239-KT. I-N-G. Everybody, uh, get on the phone right Have now, and if it's a busy no, signal, keep what, calling. Why don't you give a couple of verses from the song yeah, so we get the okay, idea. Okay. Well, nah, 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 nah. No, sorry. I'm Boy, I'm going to hit you in the head with the Mr. T-Dog. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we'll give, we'll give a little sneak preview of uh, the song here. It, it goes, well, uh, let's see. Uh, let's sing along with Mr. T. Okay, hey, everybody. I pit it a four. I pit it. 619-239-K-I-N-G. Yeah. Hey. 619 k K-I-N-G, yeah! More Pitted now, Elvis, won't you call me? Pick out that phone, sucker! Yeah, give me a call! <laughs> then I'll start talking and ranting and raving, you know. And, and, and you got these all these neat-looking Elvis look-alikes in the video. Oh, yeah, people that look nothing like Elvis wanting to be like Elvis. <laughs> Everybody wants to be Elvis for me. <laughs> you know, is that you know pe people who don't look anything like Elvis think they do like oh, me. Oh, yeah. Like, I look in the mirror, what do I see? Elvis. Elvis. <laughs> I don't look anything like I Steve, look on the other hand, Colonel, Colonel Tom. Tom. Colonel Tom. Colonel Tom? Thank Colonel Tom. Thank you, young man. Oh. I want to ask, what, what's uh, the Ayatollah? You got a price on your head now? Well, this is, uh, I Thurman guess... Thurman Rushdie's coming in later on. I guess it's oh, time yeah. to talk about it. One of, one of the ideas for doing the live show was to talk about rock issues, which is something that really concerns all of us uh, today. And, and tonight's rock issue uh, yeah. is addressing the Cat Stevens incident, which is, uh, in a nutshell, why should we bring Cat Stevens back to playlist just so we can burn the guy was dead in the water. He, he'd uh, gone to Iran, and uh, and we would never hear, "Hey, baby, it's a wild, wide world oh, yeah. again." What, what and he's one? back. Uh, ten, he what about he's ten thousand maniacs, though? I, I mean, 
I, I think, you know, we should have let this sleeping cat dog Stevens. lie. Or running yeah. dog you know, of I the think, Ayatollah. What are we going to do with this I cat think these people, I think these people that want to burn records and want to burn, uh, they want to burn books. I think they're chicken doo doo behind lickers, and they ought to be ex. You know, anybody that burns books is, is nothing but a knucklehead. You know. Yeah. I mean, Co oh, oh! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Khomeini is a meanie. Trash. TV. That's all I can say. Trash TV lives Trash here TV. in Austin. There I you tell you, man. I hope I didn't hurt you. Right. Me too. But you know, Cat Stevens. Well, that was my wait, favorite wait, album. Works. That was Cat Stevens. So all you lovers of soft rock formats, don't even bother calling your station. If you do, they're going to add them to the playlist again. Yeah, Let oh, this sleeping dog lie. You know, it's funny. A&M's been selling a lot of Cat Stevens records because of all this brouhaha. Of course. Uh, I mean, yeah. we buy Cat Stevens. But Salman Rushdie is coming on later on. You know, he and Cat are getting together. They're doing a duet. <laughs> It's the rap Quran. They're doing the whole Quran rap, man. Oh, it's going to sell a million. Oh, oh you man. mean the Quran? I read the Quran. <laughs> I, I read the Quran. It don't say nothing in there about burning books. It don't no. say nothing about the I told you and all that no. stuff. I yeah. ran from the Quran. I ran myself. from the Quran. I rock. I ran all that good stuff. Here we are live, South by Southwest. Where else are you going to see stuff like this? Television history. And we're going to a station ID. Is your VCR ready for Video Fest 89? Well, with clips by all these bands and more, it better be. South by Southwest. <laughs> South by Southwest, <laughs> number three, Trace Quattro. And through, the, through the magic of television, once again, where Steve Leeds was once sitting, we have Mike Stewart, the only producer in Austin, Texas, to get his own night tomorrow night. All you that want to hear the Mike Stewart sound, you heard about the Archie sound, you've heard about the Brian Epstein sound. It's going to be the Mike Stewart si uh, sound tomorrow night at Club Cairo. Club, Club Cairo, Cairo. Yeah. featuring uh, many of the bands you produced, including Four Dog Pondering, uh, Shoulders, Grains of Faith. Mamu, uh, Stick People, Allison Rogers, and Tyrant Swing. And coincidences right. of coincidences, we have over here Mike Slattery from Shoulders, uh, probably Mike's hottest new young band. I've heard, I've heard the tape, <laughs> <laughs> and I don't know much about your sexual leanings, actually. But <laughs> He's a hard ass to follow, man. <laughs> <laughs> you, you need some butt shrinking cream. <laughs> But my boy looks all right. <laughs> Mike's got a great band and uh, got some great songs. I, I'm, I'm kind of partial to Uncle Aiken, uh, the man that no one loved, but he could make those flowers grow. Yeah. And he was a flower growing man. He's got uh, Mike, you're going to be hearing about a lot more, almost as much as you're hearing about Mike Stewart now. If you haven't heard about him, just stay tuned. You're going to hear more. Mike Stewart, Mike Stewart, Mike Slattery, Mike Slattery. There'll be a lot of Mike's. Mike's. Yeah. Mike's. 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 Now, Mike Stewart. Um, what, has this, what does this showcase mean for you? Are you going to sell some records out of this? Is this a good thing for you? Well, these are all unsigned acts, and they're all, everybody kind of banded together to get a, you know, a showcase so we could try to get a lot of people to come you know, so they wouldn't all be lost at a variety of showcases around town. So we're all kind of talking up the night, trying to get people to come and see these acts so they might get signed. Is get there a records. Mike Stewart sound now? No, there's no Mike Stewart sound. <laughs> well, I understand that, that you've been successful enough that the mafia is coming around now trying to uh, cut in on your You know, action. I'm getting a little piece of action from some pay phones in all the uh, uh, casinos in Las Vegas. They love you in Vegas it's, now. It's happening. And, and Mike, how did you, you come around to hooking up with Mike? Mike? Well, just uh, trying to find a good studio in town. There's lots of them, but uh, uh, Mike had a good uh, reputation. He plays a lot of different bands, and <clears throat> we're a lot of different bands in one, so you know, we, we tried to find somebody that could capture every facet of our sound, you know, sort of like Mojo. <laughs> did y'all, did y'all meet at a Tom Jones show? <laughs> no, it was, it was, it was, uh, it was Humber, uh, Engelbert, Humperdinck is everywhere oh, we got Oh, yeah, oh, Engelbert, yeah. yeah. So yeah. the knucklehead yeah, off the street it, says, uh, <clears throat> Mike, I understand you're in a band. What, what kind of sound is the shoulders sound? What is yeah. the thing? Well, just do that. See, that's why, yeah. that's where the name scrunch. came from. Yeah. Yeah. Is, is it that's scrunched that's up? Yeah. I mean, do you sing scrunched up? Does I think I do. I pull my muscle every time I sing. I don't know if you're going to get that in my neck. Well, when you're in the act of making love all night long, you get the shoulders all scrunched up like that, and then, then like, later on, you know, you can't relax, and you're, like, sitting on the couch trying to watch TV, and, like, 
Yeah, honey, that was great. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That is a show every you, night. You know my wife or something? I know your wife. <laughs> Man, I've been wondering about that. Her shoulders are scrunched, too. I guess. I think I about that. <laughs> so what do you expect to come out of this uh, cassette tape you made, which is now available in, in uh, better record stores uh, across Austin area? Well, we hope to make a, we're going to make a record out of it. Right now it's just kind of a tape, and uh, after that we're going to kind of send it around and sell it here in town, and uh, hopefully something good will happen from it. I don't know. You play in New Orleans. That's where I'm from, from New Orleans. You want to make money out of this deal or what? Hmm? You want to make money out of it, or are you just doing it for the love of music? This is a love feast. Yeah, well, you know, we're, we're, we're kind of one of these middle-of-the-road bands, you know. We, we, we kind of sit right in the middle of the road, so I think we'll probably make a few million off this one. You know. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. That's the middle. That's the middle. Well, I hope million. you remember Bill and I, that we've been, uh, we kind of wanted to give you your video break here. Uh, and, uh, well, we were going to sign Huey on to produce us, but... Mike Stewart kind of edged him out. <laughs> well, I heard they wrestled downtown. You know, in front of the Capitol. They did. They made more money than we're probably going to make off our record on. Yeah, now he was going to be the executive Jello. producer. Yeah, I great. thought it was just the, that synthetic mud stuff. Hey, what time do you go on tomorrow night? At 8 o'clock. We're the first band. We're going to kick it off. You like that? I mean, are you glad to go on at 8? Uh... Yeah, I hate to wait around, you know, so it's kind of good to. So, no waiting. You no got somewhere to go. Walk. You got to go scrunch up your shoulders. I right? do. I got to do that. Yeah. You better yeah. watch out. I think Mojo's getting ready to slather us here. <laughs> <He's> Thursday? <laughs> <laughs> well, what what is a producer? I mean, you know, <laughs> do you deal with guys like this? That's I mean, did, is that what these guys do in the, in the convention cover? Yeah, I try to keep things oh, like this from happening yeah, you know, yeah, on the guitars, you know. Well, you know, I've been feeling rather constipated. And, uh, oh, man. <laughs> no, I'm in OA, please. Have you tried you know, pure aloe Oh, wait, what's that? Yeah, Oil's anonymous. I uh -oh. stay away from it. <laughs> well, that was a joke, wasn't it? <laughs> Yeah, well, actually, this is, you know, my T-shirt, no one's commenting on it. This is Crabs, and, you know, people think that people don't, there's not enough support for Crabs, and I'm a member of PETL, you know, people for the eth ethical treatment of lice. So I'm really into Crabs. Bill's got them. Yeah, I've got them. He keeps Crabs. <laughs> yeah, see that little one going up there? <laughs> Mojo's got them for sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I got Crabs, yeah. I got gambling money. <laughs> oh, wait, let's go to Vegas. Let's go to Mike, can you call your people uh, over okay. there? Oh, where's their phone? Game down the hall. Yeah, call, their, call your pedal. Yeah, Mike, you got this band, uh, Poor Dog Pondering, that uh, everybody seems to say is uh, uh, all the A and R people are sniffing their heinies right now. Uh, <laughs> is, that no, a, is, is, is that is that a heavy responsibility right now? I mean, you know, hundreds of thousands of dollars are on this one, huh? It's fun. It's I mean, fun. Yeah, I mean, it's like everybody's given Poor Dog a lot of respect, and uh, we're taking our time picking a deal. And uh, like a dog and so, have you gotten yeah. some good free meals <laughs> out of the deal? It. We've gotten a couple of free meals out of this deal. Do you yeah. like? Do you really bond with these people over lunches and stuff? <laughs> I've seen them do it before. I mean, I'm worried about this. There's all this diseases, all this bonding going on at this convention. Yeah, I guess it's love, though. And we have to like love. Yeah. Right? yeah. Neil Diamond record. Are you autographing it for me? <laughs> yeah, thanks, Neil. Uh, I wanted to show you how you, s you know, now this record's scratched, and there's only one way to stop scratches on record. And that's <laughs> peanut butter, man. Yeah. It won't skip after right. you do that, yeah. right? Yeah, that, there you that, go. It won't skip unless you're using Skippy, and we, we, uh, we suggest use Jeff. Jeff. Jeff, don't Choose, use Skippy. Choosy Mothers well, choose Jeff. Well, how are you the Wesson oil, man? <laughs> <laughs> Mojo's got this Wesson <laughs> on. We got a party going on He's right here. Ready we wanted to make sure that... Uh, for the invocation, aren't we? Yeah, invocation. I'm going to be invoking. Now, what time does church start tomorrow? 10 and 30 in the morning, so Ooh. I suggest you stay up all night. No sense going to sleep. <laughs> That's uh, my plan. We wanted to make sure that uh, we get in all our promotional considerations, so for you, Mike, we have a little squirrel button. <laughs> and, the snake uh, is what Mike calls it. For you, Mike, I have a, 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 a genuine joking Carrasco right. button. Uh, I don't know where I got it, but it's a collector's item. <laughs> And uh, <laughs> Mojo, for you, a light button. And uh, I've got some gifts too. And this one for a producer. This is one of my favorite records. This is the record sounds <laughs> like <laughs> the <laughs> Eagles, <laughs> as performed so by right. Mirror Images. <laughs> So this is not really the Eagles, but it sounds like it's the Beagles. The Eagles. <laughs> <laughs> this is one of my favorites. I want and of course, this is for Mojo. Mojo. Mojo, this is the most disgusting <laughs> product on earth. And I figured, you know, what is it? Hand cheese, Franks? No, tuna Franks. Tuna Franks. Oh, what's these are Franks right made of tuna. Now, if, dip it in the beer, and it'll be yeah. good. Generic beer and tuna Franks. I think that's good. Yeah, and that? Mike, uh, just in case, I know a lot of A and R people are going to be after you. <laughs> Would you pass on these tapes and tell them to give a listen to it and get back with me if they like any of them? I'll do that it. That one's particularly good. good. That is a nice one. Well, we're here. 
Tuna Franks, the all ideas. Right. All, you gotta do is, all you gotta do is swallow a live match and he'll really cook it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're live, South by Southwest number three, and everybody is very much urged. We have been, and we are still, the most trusted convention coverage Trust in America. Us. Trust us. Petoskey and what's his name? And we really want That's you what all. I asked. Who's this look, guy? we had a good time tonight, but this is going to be over soon. They're going to be showing videos. You've got a choice. You can stay at home and watch some more videos. And hey, Video Fest '89 is quality entertainment. But get off your feet, go out, listen to this music tonight. It's the award ceremony. Sure, all the winners average age is 45 years old, but it's still <laughs> rock and roll to us. Get out, have a good time, and. <laughs> Don't forget, everybody out there tonight at that convention, sh at the Chronicle show, is a wiener. <laughs> Everybody's a wiener at the convention show. That's brilliant. God, it's, you know, it's love. It's what we're talking about. It's, it's love. A love it's love. It's so if, good. if you can't get next to the one that you love, uh, don't forget that these tuna franks are available in <laughs> the store. But couldn't oh, get yeah, really good froze. Couldn't, couldn't get any worse. <laughs> Freeze them up. Snickers, frozen Snickers and frozen tuna franks. Now that's a meal. It's that's beyond snickerdoodles as far as I, I know. So $10 will get you into all the clubs, well, a bunch of clubs. A bunch of clubs. clubs. 40 million clubs. No, yeah, at least. That many. But so many clubs that you will be club hopping, you will be going crazy. So $10, get out and see these bands, South by Southwest, it's number three. It's your best three. entertainment value besides Ever. giving the gift of music. Right, right. And we want you to remember that. Uh, tomorrow night, we've got a lot a lot more guests. We've got uh, Mojo's producer, Jim I'm Dickinson. <laughs> no, uh, no, 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 no. I don't know how we can top this. Jim Dickinson uh, of... Uh, well, Jim, Jim's good because he hates everybody, including me. Yeah, <laughs> and uh, well, I was kind of hoping to get him on tonight so at least he could uh, uh, spill some vitriol uh, uh, in your direction. Just well, Jim would, Jim would drink the Wesson. He, he's he's <laughs> hip to that. You know? Uh, well, you know, Dr. Nick, I'm sure, had prescribed it somewhere in the past there. <laughs> you know, and, you might want your dog dipped in Wesson. Yeah, dip that Ooh. dog in wet. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> call it, call it. You gotta get the, gotta get the action. That's if you have a hard time getting this hot dog down. Uh, <laughs> dip it in wet and eases in. You guys don't know what that does to me. Uh, <laughs> kind of loosens me up right there. Yeah. Uh, well, we'll just put it here for later. I'll Notice save the it for suspended later. solids here. If you can get a close up on yeah, this. Oh, yeah. These it's are like, oh, hey, six, we're talking sisters. We're talking lava lamps. I mean, ooh. Yeah, I mean, shine a flashlight through it, and uh, you've got a much better deal. So this is good. <laughs> Ten bucks, everybody gets to see all the music they want. I'm sorry you got to pay extra for the tune of Franks. <laughs> but uh, they do have them in your store now. Is that not correct? And uh, we're probably, uh, a after this show ends, we're going to all be chowing down on what? cheese puffs, cheese-flavored puffs. <laughs> we're almost there. We're, we're almost there. there. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're getting, we're achieving cosmic consciousness as we speak. So, right okay, now. we got two minutes to go. We're going to shut down the cameras. I want the entire crew to come on. We're going to go 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 for the last two minutes, okay? Come on. We got a little South by Southwest to go go. We've got to go come go. On, everybody. Don't forget. Go Lock down the cameras. Come on, everybody. Tomorrow night, we'll 7 o'clock, we'll be go back go. with more of the same. Television oh, shows will be made. Oh. Everybody come to Club Cairo tomorrow night. Tomorrow night, 8 o'clock, we'll be Mike. I'm second play. <laughs> <laughs> In the jingle, jangle morning, I'll come following you. Take me on a trip on your magic swirling ship my senses have been stripped my hands can't feel to grip my toes too numb to step wait only for my boot heels to be wandering 